welcome to my channel today. I'm Tara with Pieces of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me. So today I'm gonna to do a little um, experiment. Uh, I have been seeing a lot of people uh, using the DecoArt uh, Enchanted. They are interference colors. So I wanted to compare the DecoArt Enchanted to the Golden Interference, which I love. So what I just did is I painted my edges because with a pearl painting, uh, it helps the design stick to the edges. But as you'll see on the right canvas near the end, that my can canvas kind of sagged a little bit. So it pulled away from the edges. And these are um, the level threes uh, from Michael's, the Artist Loft ones. And I've been pretty disappointed with them lately because they haven't been stretched well. And so I get them and they're very saggy. I have to spray them and let them sit for a while before I can use them. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you're buying canvases. Um, yeah, Michael's has been a little disappointing lately. So right there, um, I had to add water to my, uh, my overlay color because it was a little bit thick. So I'm sorry, it was really hard to see that it was just a little bit thick for consistency, but I did add water and then it was fine. So this side is the deco art side. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, um, on this one, uh, I, <laughs> you can see I tilt and I tilt and I tilt and I'm not seeing any pearls at all uh, because that is a pearl uh, base coat that I used um, and so I was, I was just kind of like kept tilting in it hoping that some pearls would start popping up but they didn't. <laughs> so uh, now this is the side with the interference with the, um, the golden interference which I love and I use it mostly and a lot of people say well it's really expensive but you really don't need much of it at all. So a little bit goes a long way with these golden colors. I, it like I know it is a little bit more expensive in the front end, but you do get a lot more bang for your buck uh, when you're when you're using the the fluids um, or or more pigmented colors. You just don't have to use as much. So, but I get that it's not in everybody's budget. So I wanted to try this interference uh, gold from DecoArt. So you can see on the right side, the pearls are popping up um, with that golden. So basically what I'm thinking is that the DecoArt uh, interference colors have a very light density. So it doesn't allow the pearls to pop up through it because it's just too light. Um, so I, I think that's the difference. The, the golden interference is also very light, but you can see that the density is, is, um, is more than the uh, satin enamel base coat because you can see the pearls are popping through on those edges. Uh, so I decided that this, I wasn't trying to make this be like a diptych. Um, I, I was just gonna try and see what happened. So since the DecoArt one did not pearl up, I could use uh, the edges uh, more in this one. So I decided to kind of do like a wave pattern on this one on the left. And uh, I noticed on the one on the right, the golden one, that the pearls weren't popping through on that that um, upper right corner at all so I decided to kind of blow out in that direction so I wanted it to kind of be a little bit heavier on the upper right area uh, so that's why I have more paint over there but it didn't exactly work out the way that I wanted so um, yeah I <laughs> I had to do that one a couple of times but that's okay but this one is really cool it's funny because the pearls didn't pop through when I tilted, but when I blew it out, you can see that there is some puffy pearls starting to develop. And sorry, my camera keeps focusing in and out because of the, um, the blow dryer. 
So yeah, I decide to kind of blow out this left side again um, of the, the one with the pearls. I didn't like the way that blowout looked, so I just um, kind of blew it out again. And so these, guys, these um, paintings are going to be going with me to Dallas uh, for the Fluid Art Experience. I'll be an instructor there. Uh, we will be doing this technique. Um, I'll be teaching Dutch pours, Dutch pours with pearl combos, as well as um, deconstructed blooms. So if you guys are interested in taking those classes, head over to thefluidartexperience.com to sign up for the classes. Um, so here, you guys, this is the dry results of the deco art. It is, it turned out really cool. And it's funny because in, when I tilted, I got no pearls, but when I blew it out, I got these kind of puffy looking pearly like things. Um, and it actually gave that wave pattern a ton of interest. And I, this deco art, um, Americana Enchanted Gold, uh, it literally looks exactly like the golden interference. The color is exactly the same, and you'll see that in the next painting. So I would totally use it again, um, just maybe not on a pearl painting. Um, but yeah, it's it's a beautiful color. This now is the, the one with the golden. And um, you can see, see along the top there where it pulled away from the edges. And I think that's because the... Uh, the canvas was kind of sagging. It doesn't look like it, but I think that's what really is really what happened. So if you guys like what you're seeing, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified each time I put out a new painting. Head over to my new website, uh, piecesofterraartistry.com. There's a lot of information on there and there's some paintings. I haven't gotten them all on yet, there yet, but I'm working on it. So thank you all for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye y'all.